Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, today, uh, I'm glad to, to give the, the, the topic about the study of uh, CO2 chemical absorption and uh, industrial application. So I'm from Zhejiang University. Uh, uh, so the main contents including four, uh, uh, First is the background, then second study of CO2 chemical absorption, and then I will introduce uh, uh, 150 kiloton per year uh, CO2 chemical absorption demonstration projects and the con conclusion. And uh, then first I will introduce the, the background. As you know, the, uh, now the, uh, China is the largest CO2 emission country near 10 billion ton CO2 per year. Uh, it's account about 30% of the global CO2 emission. And this is because China is the largest uh, uh, coal producer and consumer. Near 4 billion ton per year uh, coal is consumed, almost half of the world. So the coal-fired planet uh, account about 70% CO2 emission is total uh, CO2. So, you know, China now has government already announcement that uh, China will attend the CO2 emission peak in 2030 and will try to attend the carbon neutralization target till 2060. So, CCUS is one of the important technology to achieve carbon neutralization. Uh, there are a lot of CO2 capture technology, as you know, but uh, post combustion capture now is an effective way to achieve CO2 great detection from fossil fuel. And this is a typical CO, uh, chemical absorption uh, process. So the flow gas uh, from the boiler first uh, go to the pre-treatment part to cool down to about 40 centigrade C and then send to the absorber. The absorber, the uh, aiming is inject into the absorber to uh, absorb the CO2 from flow gas and become a rich solution. And then pass the heat exchange to heating and then send to the stripper. To, uh, in the stripper, we use a steam to heating the stripper to about uh, 100, cent 100 centigrade C. And then the, the solution uh, emit the CO2 and then the uh, uh, then they become a learn solution, and the learn solution can decide back uh, to the uh, absorber to uh, recycle to absorb the CO2 again. So it's the typical technology. And then the flow gas uh, to the top and to use, use water washing to uh, absorb some of the amine uh, and the degrees uh, amine emission. And then finally, the and the CO2, uh, released CO2 is heat, uh, is cooled down and uh, use a compressor to high uh, CO2 uh, pressure to, for utilization. So the advantage of this uh, chemical absorption process is usually this process is suitable for complex flow gas condition, mature technology and easy industrial application. So uh, in this world, now more than 90% uh, uh, CCUS projects use uh, chemical absorption technology. The one of the largest one is the uh, Bonded Dam uh, CO2 capture projects. It's uh, 1 million ton per year, operated in 2015. And the uh, second one is uh, in the petrol level is uh, CO2 capture uh, projects. It's uh, 1.4 million ton per year uh, CO2 capture capacity operated 2017 and uh, but uh, uh, closed because of the economic problem and now we will restart uh, in, in, uh, again and in China there are two large two uh, largest uh, uh, CO2 projects one is uh, in the Shanghai Shidongko uh, power plant is uh, 120 kilotons per year CO2 capture demonstration projects by Wallen Group, uh, operated in 2008. And the 
Secondly, in the uh, beyond to the national energy group, Taizhou power plant is about, it's about uh, 0.5 million ton per year CO2 projects operate uh, this year. And uh, now there are a lot of research uh, about the uh, uh, chemical absorption. Uh, uh, the, usually they focus on the two targets. One is the how to decrease the energy consumption. So in, for these targets, usually uh, focus on the advanced servants development and then process optimization. And the second one, how to decrease the capital cost. Uh, this process focus on the new reaction with low price materials. And the second one is the mass and the heat transfer intensification to decrease the size. And so first, uh, so I just believe first they induce the solvents development. So solvents development uh, from the uh, uh, 1930s, so usually you, we call the first generation solvents typical like MEA and MDEA. Usually the MEA is uh, for chemical absorption process, the, uh, the uh, energy uh, consumption is high, uh, I uh, can attend the four gigajoule bottle CO2, and it's also it's corrosive and uh, degradable. And uh, so then uh, a lot of research focused on the developers that cause a second generation. Typical one is mixed Amy, uh, like a uh, uh, shell company developer called DC uh, mixed Amy, and MHI Japan developer called KS uh, mixed Amy. And then in China, uh, by the Pichuro chemical uh, group developed called MA, Miss uh, Amy. The, uh, the heat uh, uh, regeneration uh, uh, decreased to 2.8 or to about 3 gigajoule per ton CO2. And it's also is a high capacity and no energy and no degradation. And then, uh, we call this a new generation, we call, can call the third generation. The typical like the new mixed amines, phase change solvents, ion liquid based uh, uh, solvents, and the water run amines, and the level field amines, and also catalyst aided amines. And uh, this uh, typical uh, regeneration energy degrees to 2 to 2 gigafive, or 2.5 gigajump to CO2. And uh, but now it's uh, most uh, uh, researched in the uh, laboratory and also some uh, some pilot scale. Uh, so we, we, next step is demonstration project operation. So uh, for those uh, uh, servants, uh, we the, our uh, target is uh, how to select a good servants. So we hope the solvents have high rate of reaction and the mass transfer, high cycle capacity, and this can decrease the solvents uh, flow rate and uh, high to tall. And also will need the low heat of absorption and the low wave pressure can decrease the solvents energy requirement and the solvent loss. And also we uh, hope to uh, low pipe byproduct formation and decomposition rate so you can Hope the solution is uh, uh, safety and, uh, uh, and, and, and the law inclusivity. So uh, also can uh, benefit from the material uh, selection and the high rate of biodegradation or law toxic. And it's, it's good for environmental impact. So there are a lot of requirements for a good servants, how to compromise different uh, requirement is, uh, is one. Uh, key. So, uh, so we say the first way which is a uh, mixed Amy, you know, now the most of the operation the projects is mixed Amy. Uh, mixed Amy is uh, just a combined different Amy with mutual mutual promotion for high reactivity and no regeneration energy conservation. So two uh, direction for mixed Amy research. First is uh, Based on high CO2 reactivity, reduce the energy consumption. Typical one like you with MEA is a high 
reactivity. And at the MDA, uh, like at the MDA, MDA is a low energy consumption. So mixed MEA, MDA is one, uh, one uh, mixed AMB solvents. And the second direction you use based on the low energy consumption increase the CO2 uh, reactivity. So this is typical like I said, we use the MDA, it's a low energy consumption, and then add some uh, quick reaction like a paging, PZ. Uh, Pepperging is a very quick reaction. Uh, so in this become another uh, new uh, mixed aiming. So like MDA and Pepperging is already widely used in the Europe for country, uh, it's a new solvent slide. So there are a lot of research of the law about the new uh, mixed aiming solvents and a lot of uh, uh, this good result. So those results also combine the uh, absorption performance and regeneration performance. And, uh, and so and then, then we become uh, selected the best one. So they are so basically search on the absorption performance based on the Engineering performance, and then uh, after the uh, evaluation, and get a good uh, solvents. So, and the second one, we uh, there are a lot of research, uh, we call the sodium generation. Here, typical one is a phase change solvents. So, the so phase change solvents is uh, uh, different with the common uh, amine. Is uh, the when after the uh, absorber, the solvents uh, were. Well, Divided two phase, and uh, in the in for example here the left uh, the down phase will uh, absorb the uh, get the all the CO two to the down phase, and then the uh, the down phase uh, uh, because of the hydrogen bond and the cell effects, and uh, then we just uh, uh, regenerate the down phase, uh, uh, yeah, and then so. And because it's uh, enough uh, CO2 capacity and it's easy to regenerate. So this can reduce the regeneration energy uh, greatly. So, and then the upper phase just uh, come back uh, to the uh, absorber. So uh, there are uh, the typical uh, phase change solvents. One is uh, we call the mixed aiming uh, phase change solvents. This aiming means uh, the, the, uh, the solvents is uh, on the uh, the composition is amy and typical one like DEA and AEA and uh, DEA is uh, uh, AEA can after absorber can uh, become a phase change phase change and uh, but uh, we have a phase change is uh, energy the so lost energy can decrease to two point two gigajoule per ton CO two but uh, but we found the one problem is the uh, uh, down phase uh, the the viscosity is uh, very high uh, uh, compared to the MEA. It's uh, almost uh, more than fifty times of the MEA. So it's it's one problem. So it's not a lot of research on how to decrease the, uh, the viscosity to add some as a new uh, composition to decrease the uh, uh, the viscosity because high viscosity will cause the the flow pressure, flow uh, uh, and also the cause the heat heat exchange transfer degrees. And uh, then another typical field change solvent we call the, uh, based on the physical and the chemical solvents. And the typical one, for example, is uh, uh, the chemical solvents M MP and the MEA, and the physical solvents we call like one easel called the DEG DM is a one easel and also soften. Right? Uh, and uh, this uh, the here for this uh, solvents, uh, you the MPM is a chemical solvents and the uh, DGDME is a fecal solvents, and this also can be become a phase change solvents. And the uh, this this one the uh, the viscosity is acceptable. Uh, so it's uh, almost uh, some uh, bigger than the, the MEA, but, uh, but still it's a lot of very larger. Here, for, for example, here only five times of the common MEA, but the uh, energy consumption can take it to 2.5 gigajoule per ton CO2. So, it, so now it's uh, uh, people, uh, a lot of research 
I think it's, it's, it's a very good uh, future solvent. And now uh, there are a lot of literature uh, show the uh, phase change solvents. So I just uh, give some summary. For example, for the, the two part, one is uh, aiming, mix aiming uh, phase change solvents, like for example, the, uh, 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 the primary aiming is like uh, you say uh, TA, AA, and, uh, and uh, phase, change, phase uh, separation promoter is usually based on the DEA. And then the generation energy can 2.2, 2.4 like this. And uh, then another one phase change we call the physical and chemical uh, phase change solvents. Th then the prime aiming, they are like MEA, BDA, DETA. And then the physical uh, uh, one, like uh, uh, one kind of ether and the cell phone. And then the, the regeneration energy can be to the 2.5 and the 6. So, so, uh, so you can see the which may energy can decrease uh, greatly. And then uh, the, uh, the energy concept is one, uh, one uh, field, and another field, uh, how decrease the uh, solvent uh, degradation. Uh, and the degradation, you know, uh, typical includes the uh, oxidative degradation because of the uh, oxygen in absorbable column to cause the degradation of the solvents, and also uh, the uh, SO2, SO3, and, uh, and metal, like uh, 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 different metal also uh, causes uh, the degradation quickly. And, uh, and the second one is uh, called the thermal degradation. It's typically used uh, in the triple heating and it causes uh, so when de degradation, so uh, uh, oxidative degradation account about uh, seventy percent, and uh, thermal degradation account about thirty percent. And uh, how to decrease the degradation? For first one, we use found some inhibitor to uh, control the oxidation degradation. And uh, for thermal degradation, we usually control the temperature. So low temperature, low thermal degradation. So for the oxygen integration inhibitors, there are a lot of uh, mechanisms. For example, for, uh, for also, for example, it's uh, like a, a collusion inhibitor just uh, absorbs, absorbs the uh, metal. Uh, and, uh, and also the uh, oxygen inhibitor absorbs the oxygen, typical, so there are a lot of different uh, inhibitor. So different aiming have different inhibitor and as a different result. So uh, they usually they are just use some uh, small uh, quick test to make a selection of the degradation inhibitor. And this is we just show the some uh, solvent development. Then second one we introduce the process optimization. Uh, process optimization can uh, Decrease the energy consumption greatly. So, for example, one typical one like that we call the intercooling uh, is absorber. Intercooling is uh, during the absorber, the uh, uh, solution, uh, solvents aiming and react with the CO2 to produce the heat and then the cost of temperature increase. So, intercooling is the cool down the solvents in the absorber. In this can increase the leach loading at the absorber bottom. So, this can, in this way, can decrease the uh, energy. Uh, uh, you, so, so low and no uh, uh, cooling temperature, then the energy uh, consumption decrease uh, largely. So, so it's also very effective to increase the remove efficiency of the CO two for the uh, for the absorption. And then second process we call for example we for the leach spirit flow. Uh, so in the triple. Uh, the, uh, uh, there are a lot of CO2 and steam uh, when emitted from the top because of the heating process, the regeneration process. And then we, for the, for the leach spray flow, we just inject the part of the cold stream at the top of the triple. And in this way, we can uh, 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 recover the heat from the regeneration CO2 steam stream. Then in, in this way, can decrease the energy consumption. And then we answer like MVR. MVR means for the 
the generation process, they are uh, the lens solvents, uh, high temperature lens solvents, it flashed uh, in the uh, container and then produce the, the gaseous stream and the compressed and the feedback of the strip in this can reduce the boiler steam demand. So uh, for here, which if we combine the uh, those processes in the cooling is possible, leach speed flow and MVR. So totally uh, those uh, process can decrease the energy conservation about 20% for like MVR can from 3.9 to 3.1 so it's a it's a it's a very effective and uh, uh, second uh, we uh, focus on the how to decrease the cap cost so if you care how the usually answer can include in the fund uh, there are some new reactor uh, with no uh, price material and also there are some massive heat transfer identification uh, uh, process uh, as you know, the, for the absorber and the dissolver, it's a, it's, a, it's a larger size and a larger investment usually for the chemosorbing process. And uh, because on the, uh, the, uh, the tower use the, the stainless steel, stainless steel uh, material. So for example, if we use the, the PP, plastic parking, uh, to replace the stainless steel parking, material, this can uh, reduce the capital cost. But uh, uh, I of concrete if we own the parking material use the uh, PP, uh, plastic parking category is um, almost 50% cost. So it's a great uh, uh, advantage. But uh, you know PP parking, the problem is uh, land hydrophilic. So, uh, how to uh, make the hydrophilic modification? We uh, usually, for example, we add uh, some material like uh, MH and, and also uh, cause some uh, micro stru structure on the surface. This can decrease, so use this technology, we can decrease, the, we reduce the contact uh, angle less than 10, uh, 10, 10, 10 uh, um, and then, so, so it's very uh, good to uh, keep the weighting of the material and uh, uh, good uh, film forming. And also the, the, the much rainfall is also uh, increased uh, very high. So also we research on the packing materials, the uh, collusion in the, uh, in the MEA uh, or the new absorbent system. And show it's also very good for the PP pack, PP packing material. Uh, was on the more the same uh, was uh, the stand studio packing. And now uh, we already use this material in some uh, 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 projects. And then also we develop some called the uh, the enhancement of the heat exchange. You know, in the uh, the. Um, Put on the chemical absorption process, there are a lot of heat exchange, um, um, but as a temperature difference is very low, so we usually call the polet heat exchange. Polet heat exchange compared compared to the log uh, uh, traditional heat exchange, the heat exchange coefficient is very high, so almost double of the common tube heat exchange. And so then we design the different structure of the polet. Uh, structure and also make a simulation and can in this way can uh, greatly uh, in, in, increase the heat exchange coefficient so then increase the, the investment or the, the uh, cost of the heat change. In our lab we have a 200 cubic per hour flow gas CO2 capture planet. So in this pipeline we, we use some uh, Parking, uh, plastic packing material and also to test. And also we use the new heat exchange to test. And also we test different new solvents. For example, if we test uh, with like MEA and the mixed aiming MA and the new mixed aiming NE. And this already used in the uh, Tetzel power plant. Uh, and as also we uh, test the like, phase change solvents in the uh, already operated in the Zijian. Uh, in our uh, analysis projects. And uh, 
for for example, for this MA, we can uh, the the uh, heat regulation heat can lost is two point six. For NAE is two point seven, and uh, unless uh, we call the fetching solvents two point four, so you can test here. After here, then we can go to project to, to uh, operating, and then another a lot of research on the we call the pollute emission. You know, uh, there are a lot of aiming. Uh, emitted in the uh, absorber to the uh, uh, loss, uh, uh, loss. And then this can cause the solvent loss and uh, a serious environment problem. So now a lot of research for how to control the loss. And uh, then we research found, our research found the flow gas uh, nucleus concentrate is the most important parameters to affect a loss of growth. If the, the uh, flow gas, the, uh, the, uh, there are a lot of particles in flow gas, then the, they will, will grow up and become a cause of a big problem of the emission. So, also, so we should combine the flow gas cleaning and also the emitted control together. So, uh, according to the literature, there are a lot of research already on the emission control. Typical one like dry bed, multi stage wash, and WSAP is uh, and the mush type of demist, uh, et cetera. So, on, on our, our lab, also make this on the uh, multi stage water wash. So, when when um, method we use called the water wash cobbled dry bed, uh, and then this one can we add some mist emitted uh, in the dry bed. Can in dry bed, the, the, the also is effective, the, uh, the, uh, become larger, and then use a water wash to capture that. And also, so in this way, can decrease the amine emission uh, almost uh, uh, more than 90 percent uh, uh, decreased. So, but this is already operated in some projects. And uh, uh, finally, I will introduce you the, some uh, is uh, uh, in the uh, 150,000 uh, tons per year CO2 capture demo project. It's uh, use a coal fired flow gas, CO2 concentration is about 11, and oxygen 6%, and SO2 is sodium 5 uh, micron cubic meter hour, and particle 10 micron cubic meter hour, and NOx 5, 50 micron cubic meter hour. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, this is a typical process. This, pro this project. Uh, we cooperate. Uh, it's a uh, uh, was uh, like uh, uh, Professor Lu and also uh, also the uh, uh, China, uh, China Energy Group and uh, uh, and uh, also a lot of the universities. And uh, this project uh, we use some, uh, advanced solvents like uh, mix aiming. We you mix aiming and they may. And also we use the reactor like PP packing material, part of packing material. And also you high efficient product type heat exchange. And also we use some intercooling, uh, leach split flow, MVR, the uh, process, uh, the energy uh, 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 saving process. Uh, so this, this is a uh, flow gas in, into the bleach element and then call to the uh, absorber to uh, absorb the CO2. And then uh, we also have phase uh, split system. And then we go to the to, uh, to heating and then the CO2 is, uh, uh, is uh, recovery like this. And this, this project uh, uh, already operated in 2021. And uh, the, it captures uh, the, uh, about the 10, uh, 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 100,000 uh, uh, cubic meter per hour uh, flow gas and, and the regulation energy consumption uh, target is 2.4 gigajoule per ton CO2 and the capture efficiency is larger than 90% and the CO2 purity is larger than 90-90% and, uh, and this is to show you the uh, efficiency uh, the more efficiency uh, larger than ninety percent, and also uh, the, we test the the uh, amine. We we call the mixed amine MA 
we found that the, uh, the, uh, the the generation energy is about 2.75 gigajoule per ton CO2 for the uh, for the for this process, and also we found that the so the loss about 1.1 gigakiloton per ton CO2 uh, during non solid days testing material period, uh, in which about uh, 0.3 kilo kilogram per ton CO2 uh, em emitted escaped from flue gas. And then another is just degradation loss. And also we use this project to use PP parking and already after two years operating is still a very good condition. And also we use some uh, called the fully weighted plant heat exchange. And this heat exchange can decrease the, the temperature difference to about four centigrade C. So it can uh, for the Learn the heat and learn, uh, reach and learn solu uh, solution heat change. And uh, also, we use called the physical process, I use the intercooling process, leach split flow process, and the learn vapor compression process. And uh, we combine those energy saving process optimization and the, the combine the uh, intercooling with temperature is 40 centigrade C and leach split flow 10%. And also, MVR uh, is. Uh, uh, pressure difference uh, 75 kilo par, and then the regulation duty can decrease to 2.36 uh, uh, gigaton per CO2, so it's less than 2.4 uh, gigaton. So, and also we make the em emission test uh, for the the, the uh, facility, and we found the the emission of the system of the aiming emission about 40. So shift the uh, micron per cubic meter. And the, under the ammonia, about uh, four to uh, six micron per cubic meter. So it's still high. So next step will be how to control the ME emission and ammonia emission. And we also found that if we increase the uh, water follow, can decrease the ME and ammonia emission. And also we make an uh, investment of the cost. We found that the the, the total investment for this process is about 151 million yuan for the for total projects. And then we uh, uh, make the evaluation of the operating cost. During the cost, the total one about uh, 216 uh, RMB yuan per ton CO2 uh, for uh, about the US dollar is 30. And so, so I will give a, a brief introduction, a conclusion. It's the first uh, CO2 chemical absorption is the main CO2 capture technology for CCUS. Uh, development of new servants, new loss, uh, new cost equipment and the energy saving process can decrease the operating cost uh, greatly. Uh, further research is needed for AME emission control and servant uh, management. And uh, finally, uh, Industrial utilization or promote the technology development and how to realize long time uh, stable operation is very important step in the future. So, this, uh, so uh, thanks. Uh, it's uh, uh, the the, uh, the support of the uh, National uh, Key and ID program of, from China and Nature Science Foundation of China and uh, some international cooperation projects. And so thank you. Thank you.